Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Banks and I'm an intern here at Heights Church for the Communications Department as well as the HSM team. Thank you so much for tuning in every single day to the devotionals here. If this is your first time, welcome and thanks for joining us. We will be continuing our thread because Jesus is our shepherd. But today we'll be focusing on his closeness. So because Jesus is my shepherd, he remains close. The verse we'll be looking at is Psalm 23 in the Passion Translation and it's David's poetic praise to the Lord. That first line reads, the Lord is my best friend and my shepherd. When you think of your best friend, the person you tell everything to, the person who supports you and loves you, someone that you chose as family and they chose you back, the one who's not only there for your celebrations, but for your hardships as well. This is the kind of friend that God is to all of us. He chose us and he loves us unconditionally. Psalm 23 also says, Lord, even when your path takes me through the valley of deepest darkness, Fear will never conquer me, for you already have. You remain close to me and lead me through it all the way. Your authority is my strength and my peace. The comfort of your love takes away my fear. I'll never be lonely, for you are near. He's not a distant acquaintance that only pops in when it's convenient for him. He's there every second of the way, not just there for the big events in your life, for the minute to minute. Personally, I like to think of him this way. I like that relationship. I like to communicate in a less formal manner and kind of keep a constant conversation with him throughout my day. Instances like when I'm on my way to my responsibilities for the day and I'm stressed out, <laughs> anxious, I ask for courage. When I am too exhausted to study or finish a project, I ask for strength. When my mind is just going, going with the enemy's lies and I can't find rest, I pray for peace. And when I'm frustrated with myself or with others, I cry out for patience. He has always been close. He remains there and he will be there for the rest of my life. As followers, sometimes we forget this beautiful relationship that we have with him. We forget to take advantage of his presence that's there every moment of every day. I know I have. It happens, we're human, we're imperfect living in a world that is full of fear, anxiety, uh, pain, and regret. It gets in the way of that closeness. Let's fight through those distractions and pursue God with everything that we are. When we accept God into our lives, we experience freedom. Freedom from our daily struggles that we cannot attack alone. The last part of Psalm 23 says, so why would I fear the future? for your goodness and love pursue me all the days of my life. Then afterward, when my life is through, I'll return to your glorious presence to be forever with you. So why do we fear? Why do we torture ourselves with anxiety and doubt? Bringing these issues to God can bring you freedom from these daily battles that you may be experiencing. I don't know where you're at in your faith, but I encourage you to seek that close relationship with God. I know that for myself, I used to, I was a believer, but I didn't have a close relationship. And that looks like me praying maybe when I'm afraid or when I'm, I'm asking for something. But now God has blessed my life so much when I started seeking that relationship. It changed everything. It changed how I spoke to him. It changed my confidence. I know that he's with me every step of the way. Whereas before I was sending out a message to him and hoped that he would get back to me. I encourage you to seek that same freedom, that freedom from your past and loneliness that you might be feeling, pain or fear, the freedom to rejoice in even the smallest wins and victories, and the freedom to accept his love and find peace throughout your daily struggles. You are not alone, and this is the time to lean into your shepherd, for he remains close. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you have a fabulous week living in freedom. God bless.